it's high single digits, low double digits, you know, 8%, 10%, 12%, but a measurable number. And Uptown people will verify this. Numerous Uptowners have moved, have moved to Houston, have moved to another state, have moved out of Louisiana, have moved out of Uptown New Orleans. But these particular folks because they're affluent, they have a little money, they have the wherewithal, and they have a love for Uptown New Orleans where maybe they grew up, a generational thing. They have kept their Uptown house fully furnished. They come into New Orleans maybe for an extended weekend, maybe once a month, maybe every once a quarter, maybe spend a month or two out of the entire year in uptown new orleans but they live in another city they work in another city their children go to schools in another city or they're retired in another city yet have kept their uptown house this is kind of the flip-flop you think about these condo towers in in miami and there are dozens and dozens and dozens there might be a hundred plus maybe like a hundred plus high-rise condo towers multi-million dollar units a lot of those buildings, full-time residents, it might be like 25%. And then like the other 75% are folks that are, you know, European, Asian, South American, whatever. And they, Canadian, somewhere else in the United States, they own the condo. It's fully furnished. And they go to Miami and they stay at that condo maybe a couple of months out of the year and then they go back home. There's some where it's just, you know, a place to put money or have a tax write-off, and the condo is literally empty. The air conditioning's on. They obviously pay the monthly, you know, dues or whatever you want to call it, homeowners, you know, expenses, whatever. They, 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 they pay the, you know, condo fee, but it's empty. There's not even a bed or a table or a lamp or any furniture in there. Some of them. And that, that's Miami. So, Uptown New Orleans is like the opposite of that. It's not like people are buying an uptown house and it's sitting empty or they're buying an uptown house and it's furnished and, you know, it's their secondary house and they live in another city. These are New Orleanians, uptown New Orleanians, generational folks have lived in uptown their whole lives. They're, quote, uptowners. And they have moved to another city, the frustration level of New Orleans, whatever it might be. And they live primarily in another city, yet have the wherewithal to keep their uptown home as sort of their second home because of their love of New Orleans and uptown, but tired of the dysfunction. No, it is a measurable percentage. I'm guessing somewhere between 8, 10, 12 percent, maybe higher of uptown New Orleanians that have left the city for another city, yet have kept their uptown house. And. I mean, good for them, but bad for the city in the sense that they're not here full time. Their kids aren't going to school here. They're not paying taxes for food, meals, dry cleaning, car repair, whatever it might be. They're not living here. Maybe two months out of the year or less. That's that's just part of dysfunctional New Orleans, but kind of an untold story of lots of uptown homes are often unoccupied full-time during the year, still full of furniture, lights on, AC running, all that, but it is now these uptowners, these native New Orleanians, it is their second home, and they live full-time in another city. Just crazy what's going on. I don't fault these people one bit. I don't fault, it's not against them. They're not doing anything wrong. It's just sad that dysfunctional New Orleans has driven these folks away that have the wherewithal to go away. I mean, one thing, thank God, they still have their uptown house. You know, you can knock like the uptowners, blue blood, whatever you want to call them. You know, I, I praise them and they, they the, the parents will help their child after college, you know, g- buy a house in uptown. I mean, otherwise, could you imagine if, those folks weren't around. You'd have a bunch of like mansions on St. Charles Avenue, abandoned, blighted, look like Detroit, you know, something like that. So thank God for those uptown folks and their love of uptown. 
their love of Uptown. Boy, Jefferson Parish politics are a joke.